The recent inauguration of the new parliament building in the Central Vista has shed light on the evolving dynamics of Indian politics. With a mix of boycotting and attending parties, the event has provided a glimpse into the shape of the new Mahagadbandhan, the opposition coalition and its potential impact on the upcoming 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Namaste, you're welcome to TFI Post and I, Animesh Pandey, would enlighten you about the upcoming dynamics of the Congress-led Mahagadbandhan and how other parties cannot be ignored as well. So let's go ahead. As the inauguration of the new parliament complex draws near, a significant number of opposition parties decided to boycott the event, expressing their discontent with the ruling government, albeit on laughable parameters. However, amidst this protest, certain political parties emerged as potential party spoilers, attending the ceremony and challenging the unified stance of the opposition. How so? On one hand, there is the Congress-backed UPA faction that is unequivocal in their call for boycotting the inauguration. Probably they found better candidates like the protesting wrestlers from Jantarmanda to do their bidding. But on a serious note, there are parties like the Nationalist Congress Party, All India Anna Dravid Munnetar Kadagam and Telugu Desam Party who chose to remain silent, supporting neither UPA nor NDA over this matter. Then there are others such as the Biju Janta Dal, YSR Congress, Bahujan Samaj Party and Shiromani Akali Dal who openly declared the decision to attend the inauguration. TDP joining them henceforth. This division amongst the opposition highlights the underlying fissures and differing political strategies within the non-national democratic alliance camp. The attendance at the parliament inauguration has brought to the fore a clear distinction between the Congress-led UPA faction and the non-aligned parties. The UPA faction comprising the Congress and its allies currently commands close to 108 seats, while the unaligned parties not backing either the UPA or NDA, collectively hold approximately 60 seats. 60 seats are not a joke, and the attendance of these unaligned parties presents an intriguing opportunity for the Bharatiya Janta Party to bolster its position. With the possibility of gaining the support of the 60 MPs, the BJP could significantly strengthen its standing in the parliament. Securing a majority in the House would provide the ruling party with an added advantage as it approaches the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Furthermore, the dynamics leading up to the 2024 elections remain fluid and unpredictable. Parties such as the Trinamool Congress, Aam Aadmi Party and others have the potential to change their stance or withdraw their support at the last minute. Such a scenario could result in a loss of at least 30 seats, making the road to 2024 even more intriguing and challenging for all the political stakeholders. The parliament inauguration episode has therefore revealed a complex and evolving political landscape in India. The presence of both the boycotting as well as the attending parties indicates the formation of a new Mahagadbandhan and the challenges that it poses both to the ruling government as well as it to itself. With the non-aligned parties holding a significant number of seats, the BJP has an opportunity to expand its support base and potentially gain a majority in the parliament. However, uncertainties and last-minute shifts remain a defining factor in the road to the 2024 elections. As the political chessboard continues to evolve, only time will tell how the various factions and alliances will shape the future of Indian politics.